Hello, this is Vultrafire, and this video is going to be a Poison AMA run. So, one day claimed that when he did this run, it made him feel like Poison was completely busted. Uh, I already attempted to put together a Poison AMA deck once, and I lost. I did not defeat S3. I, I, I lost in Area 3 of an S3 run, which, you know, not where I like to be. So I, I've already started to change the, the starting deck to try and... So basically, I tried to go aggressive, and the deck wasn't aggressive enough, and I didn't have enough defensive tools. Uh, and that's kind of, I think, the root of why that last run died. So so here's, here's the thing with the poison deck, okay? So first of all, Envenom is, is worthless. Because um, it's only on Virulent Strike, and... It only works with raw damage. Like it's it's just it's just a non-starter. Um, so aside from that, I talk about this a lot in my NLS, right? So we've got like we need withering spray theoretically to do damage. Uh, but we also have like deadly injection, infected focus. So like these are spells, which means that we can get value with uh, stuff with Naima stuff like Starlet Reflection. However, um. It ends up feeling pretty awkward. We have so in theory we want to boost spell damage, but like so here we have plague barrier, right? And so in theory you put in plague barrier, but the card that the deck really wants is runic armor, and we don't have room in this deck for a bunch of three mana shield cards that don't generate um, three mana shield cards that don't uh, give us stuff. Or do have other value, like, they do have other value, but you know what I mean. And so, like, I don't think I can fit in both of them. I don't know if Rune Karma is the better of the two, either. Uh, Toxic Cloud over Withering Spray. I think the AoE weak is important. I think we need the access to the cleanse, and I think defensive field, like, having access to shield is important. Um, Haunted Memories, I'm uncertain about. I wanted, like, one more mana card. Uh, Han Memories is flexible. We can draw it off of stuff that draws uh, non mana draw skills, which can be useful. Um, I also have a Read the Skies and an Incan Ritual. Um, it's possible I want a Necro Transmute, but like I don't know what I would cut for it. So, Read the Skies because like I want to be able to. Do, so, like the previous run I did, I didn't really have access to stance changing or uh, extra astral cards besides level 10, and that felt bad. I have an Incan Ritual. I'm not totally certain. That I need this. Um, this deck it feels like it has a lot of things that it kind of wants, but I'm not quite sure what to put in. Like this Incan Ritual at one point was like a runic study, um, but I didn't feel like I had enough ways to use up whatever. There's argument for being like a phase grace. Um, there's a lot of things it could be. Uh, it could be a potent augury. I don't know that we can afford to. I don't know that we have the mana for potent augury, but. Potent Augury is another way to like boost our spell damage, uh, but it's only the top spell. We could also go for like Spell Scry, um, which is another card I considered. So ultimately, though, the, the problem we come back to is like these deadly injections feel like they really just want to be consuming incantations, you know? Because uh, consuming incantation is just it's the same like 12, but it doesn't directly cost mana and it boosts. So if you have two consuming incantations, they're going to boost each other. Whereas like the deadly injections need boosts coming from elsewhere. Um, and then they also like the consuming incantations work great with the, the runic armor. Um, they mean that I don't need like, I don't care about like other poison stuff. You know, it's just awkward. So in the card pool, uh, I think the decreasing mana we don't necessarily need. Maybe able to get rid of that to make room for something else. I don't know what, but something. Um, I don't love where the deck is at right now. On epics, I'm trying to remember like there were... I want to put like Unstable Blast, but we don't currently have the um, the mana boost to support it. Um, I would really like to be able to fit like one of those two, but or one of those two, but we can't really. Um, honestly, defensive smithing is probably okay. Legendary Strike doesn't directly do things, but like it's solid, and we have like rogue offers as well. So our actual poison cards, like, and this is the other thing with like I talked about like the the in a list where it's like uh, we have. Seven or not seven? Yes, seven. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven 
rare, and really, this one doesn't count because it's bad. I don't count this one because it's also bad. I don't count that one because it's bad. Like these two are just bad that we do, we're just not playing them because uh, the Invenom doesn't do enough for us. This is a strike. Like this is just it's not a good time. Uh, like I would rather run virulent than this, and I'm not running virulent. And then this is just like so weak. I could see putting in like plague barrier. I could see putting in weathering spray. Uh, we need to figure out what I'm cutting for those if that's what I'm doing. Um, I need to come back to and put in like sanctuary and cleansing shield because I need those. Um, poison splash. Also, I'm like, I don't know that we have the defense to deal with this poison coming back at us. But like without without poison splash, we don't have poison output. God, this is just such such an awkward, awkward, awkward deck. Um, Pernicious Totem's good, but like, I just don't know. Because like, I don't even know that we can reliably play Barrier, is the other thing. God, this deck feels like a train wreck in every way. I don't know what we're trying to do here. I guess we're going to go for it. Oh, the other thing is like, last time I, there were, there, there are two elites in Ether Plains that can give us poison cards and neither of them spawned last time, uh, which was annoying. I don't know that we can deal with emptiness. This is the same set that I had last time and it was not great. Could have been worse. All right, we at least don't have a two and three cruelty this time. Uh, sure. 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 Alright. Uh, chart hobble seems okay. Manshield seems okay. Uh, give me a second. Alright. Um, just could pick one of these. I think we go the mine seed. Um, we're not fighting Thornberry. We're not fighting Giant Lore Blossoms, which makes this not necessarily critical. But we are fighting Cruelty in A1, and this could be... Like, these two aren't super useful to us. Um, and this lets us, like, fight these more safely. So is going to go up through this. Um, I think going... Where's like, do we value the extra event more than the second, more than the uh, extra idle reward? And I think the answer is yes, because I don't think we care about any of this. Uh, we could go up this route and get the extra sun fight, but I think having two events is better. We are going to start here, though, because Arcane Evolution would be great. Um, the other cards are less important. Okay. Um... Trying to think through the best way to, to sequence this out. It's occurring to me like one of the big differences here is I no longer have um, the thing in my starting deck that I did previously. Uh, pocket sand, which is a little unfortunate, but. that's happening we don't have the shield I want yeah that's not gonna be enough we can do that force a shuffle cool um, I think you're dead anyway so we do take damage here but the leech is helpful yeah I think we want the arcane ablution I think having access to that triple cleanse is valuable. Um, that's Serrated Warbot. The Impale is low value, I think. All right, we got the free upgrade here, which is great. Uh, and we're going to upgrade Incan Ritual because I, I, I continue to think that's just kind of a super valuable upgrade. So here, like, Penumbra Focus is okay. 
Dreadblast is okay. Dreadblast is pretty good. Um, it doesn't like directly help us, but it's still good. Uh, Boundless Ritual, we don't really have the mana for, but it may be worth considering. It's always options is the point. Think through what I can do with this. I think I'm just Starlet Reflectioning. Just get a bunch of shield out here. To appear taking some damage. Okay. Is this just going to be mana? I'd really like to have a shield, but we don't have a way to get shield right now. Oh, wait, yes, we do. Because we can change stance, or we can at least get tough out. I don't think we're playing that, but... Pretty anemic, but... And not having a way to transform Sinister Runes to in particular Dustin to be obnoxious, but we just kind of like a second one of these. I think this one I have to devote to getting, well, hmm. Try, we do have shield out of this. Let's get that, I guess. I think we're going to do with that and hope that it does something for us. Hey, I said I wanted two of them, and we got a second one. Alright, this is going to end up cleansing at least twice. Hmm. I kind of feel like we do that. Yeah, the problem is I really need to cleanse here, I think. And we're still in big trouble when we get to... Um, not that. I mean, we're still in trouble from just that four arcane leaf we're sitting on. That helps a bit. Not a great fight for us. That cleanse is obviously not helping. God. Jesus. Um. Should have been focusing on damage more, I guess. That might kill you. Yeah, that fight was not good. I feel like that was a pretty typical poison Nama fight. This card is very good. That card's also very good. I think that card is slightly better because of the weak. I really should have put in the pocket shield, which was something I was considering and then I just didn't. Tense Field Plus is also very good. Part of that is like, I should have taken the Cruelty Augmented version of that fight because uh, that just made that fight so much harder than it needed to be. Okay, we are going to fight here. I was really hoping we wouldn't.
what it just said. The uh, pocket cards. Not having them with hubris. It is surprisingly common for me to talk myself out of including pocket cards, even though they're basically always great, on especially on Naima. Like there are decks where you don't actually want them, but Naima, I think you always do. Uh, you just get too much value. Should I actually do that? Oh, that is not the thing I meant to do. I should have done the other thing. Oh, it's fine. So we get the. Um, I guess if I killed outright, I wouldn't have gotten um, whatever value. Tons of mana for next turn. There will not be a next turn. We get um, late healing. All right, uh, virtual runes is pretty okay. So this is theoretically the reason we're here. Corruptor Strike is really the only card here that does things for us. I guess Banful Ray is okay. Obviously, we kind of would like to see Demented Munch rooms because um, there's value in fighting those. We're going to do that, although it's not going to be immediately useful. All right, got poison set up. Hmm. If I play this, I can't play that. I think we get enough out of that. Justify it. Although in my head we were definitely taking less damage than that. There's just no way for us to get. Um, let's see, was that wrong? There's no way for us to get uh, whatever out. Shield. And yeah, we are kind of in this position where, like, we're absolutely struggling with shield. Shield, I think. Okay, we just need shield here. We have a lethal here. So I'm just going to do that. Because I think we're not going to take any damage here. And I wanted to get the healing out from the leech. All right, uh, defensive smithing is okay, but I think I think that does enough to justify itself. I think it is more first than the invigorating sunlight. I this is shield. Shield's kind of a thing we've been missing. That's okay. This is better, I think. As far as upgrades go, it makes a lot of sense to upgrade just the defensive smithing. Like that upgrade a lot. I 
I'm gonna break that. I still don't have anything I super want to cut. So just moving on. So, I think we go. Flaming Strike would be okay. We could force it. And we could get a Toxic Spores, which I guess is okay. We can't force the Toxic Spores. I forget the Toxic Spores is a card because I spent a lot of time being not a good card. To me now. So I'm gonna do things this way. I could have sequenced better. That's okay though. Could Starfall here, but it doesn't do much for me. Could also Purification Field, but it doesn't really do anything for me. Actually, at that point, I think I Starfall. Because it doesn't not do things. I think that's lethal. Yep. Bye. Finishes totem is worth taking. That is very good. That makes the arcane thresholds very, very low. Because that means they now start at five, because we have it with the other thing. on you. Okay. I think we're once again upgrading that. I think we are once again saving this for a later turn. Our mana situation this turn is pretty dire. But we do at least get to kill that. Pretty sure we do anyway. Yep. Upgraded this, I guess. I think it's worth using it right now. I guess we're here to play Toxic Spores. Um, powerful buff is okay. Probably should rest to be safe. And then just move on. Kind of worth considering cutting one of these just to make it easier to loop into Toxic Spores. I think that makes sense. 
think that's our weakest spell at this point. I could everyone see arguments either way, though. You're not exactly sitting on an abundance of other spells. We at least don't get Arcane Blasted here. And we also don't get Doomed, which means that there was, is, is not a chance that we could get Purity up. I guess there still is a chance, it's just very slim. Okay, because we needed to roll the 30% there. So, because we really don't want to get bled next turn, which means we need to get that out. Not enough mana, but it's what we got. I guess we do that, even though we're not planning to do whatever, just because... Can't really starfall usefully here. I think I'm just trying to get you dead. Just go for the mana boost. I think I really want to get this growth out. Absolutely no argument to be made there that that was pointlessly risky though. Because if we had gotten uh, corrupted this turn, it would have hurt. Yeah, there's something we can draw here that actually helps. Unfortunate turn for the, whatchamacallit, poison totem. Fortunately, we were able to cleanse off a lot of the pain there before that one happened. Yeah, the lack of mana boost is really hurting because it means that my normal standby of using Lunar Whispers doesn't work. And that I think is a huge part of why I'm taking so much damage. You're dead at least. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm going to be in. Oh, and you're dead. That makes you feel a lot better. But obviously, like, this is not a boss fight that should have hurt us this bad. Whatever the correct configuration of the deck looks like, it's not this, I think. I think I kind of just want to reroll and take that shield card. Kind of in dire need of additional shield. 
that I think is where we're at. And then I think we upgrade the Royal Coffers. I think we move on. Okay, there's one. Um, so if we go up this route, we can get the Gleaming Gauges, which I would really like to have. However, I, this route is much stronger overall. So we're going to take the stronger overall route, even though it means giving up the Gleaming Aegis. Got a plan. Fortunately, the plan involves not getting much sturdy. But I think it makes up for it for how much other stuff it gets to do. think so. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It gets us... Saves us like seven health there from the burn. do that. And then I think I do want to do this because that should kill you. Alright, cool. I think we can win this. Get close at least. No, we definitely win because I just go... in now. Donk, donk. All right. That helps with shield generation. It helps with the mana boost issue. I think we take the mental growth, but I'm not at all confident that was correct. So, like, one of the reasons I don't like the poison deck is like you just don't get any crit value, which is particularly notable since uh, Inkin Ritual can get us to whatever. So, I was going to go that route, but then I realized that Gleaming Aegis might be necessary for going into Shadowbone. Does it help us enough against Shadowbone? It also may not. But the nice thing here is we can take uh, that one card. Uh, what is three cards deep? I right, don't really want that either. I do want those cards though. Getting powerful going is good. Kind of would have liked to have gotten tough, but.
And the question is, am I using this? I think yes, but I'm using it like that. And there's no point in playing these shields out. I don't think I get enough out of using the weak either. So we're just going to get one shield to deal with the fern. And then we're going to get a lot of value. We're not going to use that this turn anyway. Should have done that first. I think next turn we're going to get the kill, I guess. Yeah, we're definitely getting the kill next turn. We just have to play Dread Blast and we win. So we're going to play Dread Blast. And we're going to win. Uh, I like Celestial Vision, I think. I just like Gathering Bolt, and I honestly don't hate rerolling and taking Mystic Ritual. So we kind of need the card draw. Kind of in it for the Mystic Ritual here, I think. Yeah. Oh man. I don't know if we do enough damage to justify this. But it'd be very good with because uh, like we're minus so like that. I don't think we have enough damage to justify it. We just take the better turn one. Up, 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 up. Ah, I can't click things today. It's riskier in this than it would be elsewhere, but uh, can we get to, so there's the play. Yeah, we have no sand space for that. Get that up. Powerful, powerful. I realize I'm basically just doing setup here, but sequencing is hard. That's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. Um. Yeah. Okay with being in fire stance this turn. Stance, whatever it's called. Huh. So, question here is do I solar flare or do I just sunbolt? I think I just sunbolt. That actually give me the kill here. Yep. I mean, you. I have to wait for that to click off. But I'm not gonna play out all of that. But I'm gonna play out one, just to overcome the uh, burn damage. Yeah, getting the first uh, Dorkum down is obviously pretty helpful because that's also the arcane Dorkum specifically. So no more arcane screwiness. So yeah, deck is coming together, um, but doesn't really feel like a poison deck in a lot of ways, just because poison is such a relatively small part of the nonsense we got going on. I feel like that's not really my fault either, because like, it's a very limited amount of I should have gone for uh, the reflection just to get the extra poison out. Not a huge concern. But yeah, like we just don't have that many poison cards we can, we've can been offered. That's a pretty fun setup. And then... 
we're just going for the poison kill. Or the arcane kill, rather. I mean, my backup plan is I can always go for um, uh, the thing that I haven't played yet. The sun. I can go for Sunbolt when I can't get to... Um, I should have tried to get a random statuses out so I could get whatever. Anyway, we'll just cut Sunbolt to finish this off. Boop. And I... Uh, do I need devour? How much do I need devourers? Is the question. I think it does enough for me that I want to take it. That's not worth it. That's whatever, but I'll take it. It's better than uh, twenty energy, I think. As far as upgrades go, kind of just want to upgrade dread blast. I just want to upgrade a Haunted Memory. Original Runes Plus is also pretty good. Lots of uh, solid options. Let's upgrade the Toxic Spores. We're not really looping it much. Yeah, the Deadly Jacks can also go. We have inadvertently become an Arcane deck. Um, Chimera Fight, go. Bonus Boss Fight. We may finally get a Poison Like The other thing is like... If we could get a poison epic, we are in such a better spot as far as like, oh, whoops, I do not have the mana. I miscounted my mana. Wait, how did I have only seven mana? Oh, I didn't hit zero, I guess. I just thought I did. Well, it's fine. It was kind of an expensive mistake, but we fixed it. Donk, donk. Could play this, but I want to get that poison. But I, like, if it was good for that, I, I needed to have sequenced differently. This is worth it because we get like, yeah, a lot of poison out from doing that. where we're at, but I don't think I had a better option there. Don't love that all of our work has been undone. That just gives us a decent amount of mana, though. Or a decent amount of... Uh, I guess, yeah, I didn't mean decent amount of mana. This, however, doesn't. Which is a shame, because I would really like to get mana. Doing that does heal me, though. Which helps reduce the... how much damage I take here. Yeah, like, this deck will seem to be doing fine, and I'll just kind of start choking. Guess this pays for itself, but that's all it does. So I think we want to cleanse off the vulnerable. 
Okay, got, got this man out, which means that we can do that. I guess we might as well do that, though, because it's going to pay for itself. We are going to need mana. I should have checked what else we're going get, to get from the draw. Hmm. I come in here is unfortunate. It's 16. I think it's worth doing this. Not great. That fixes it though. I suppose it's closer than I would like to exploding, but. Here. But I said but as though I had some sort of redeeming factor going on, and I do not. I think that has to come out now. So that's going to have to be this. Damn it, I had to play that first. That was a huge mistake. I can only hope I don't get punished too hard for it. Alright. We got almost enough shield. Of course, we still got shocked again. And we're not going to be able to get this much shield next turn. So we just have to draw cards. God damn. That fucked us up. I didn't think about the chance of drawing into exactly Insidious Power Stone. That may have just killed us. That's really frustrating. Did we just die here? Yeah, I'm really annoyed. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let myself restart that because like, there was like a less than one in twenty shot that we died there. Uh, it, it had to be exactly, um, whatever, or we were gonna be fine. I 
last time that is not what I ended up doing, but whatever. At least some mana. Be powerful going. I want to get tough going. So the awkward thing here is when I upgrade that. Could do that, I guess. What spell would we draw? Toxic spores. I was thinking I was going to be able to get that off, but... Right. Part of it's like, if we can avoid getting shocked, or then everything just, like, stops breaking, it's basically, it's really as kind of as simple as that. Just, if we get shocked, things go downhill. If we don't get shocked, we're fine. sense to get both of these out because it won't stop survive but it'll block something the idols are going to do probably uh-huh in that case we really want to we're going to get to block a shock here which is really good could upgrade this but i don't think it does enough I'm not going to get to upgrade anything, huh? Well, at least we don't get shocked, which like is going to be the difference maker. Although, we are still in danger of being shocked at this point. But fortunately, hmm. never mind what I was going to say. So this has to be that, and that has to be now, I think. Unfortunately, we just threw away. Okay, so we have this, which we can use to cleanse. But I think it's better off being used as shield. So this is going to be two mana. That's going to be four. So 
Doing a little bit of damage here to set this up, but... I think we have once again... Yep. Prevented getting shocked. We do just keep coming back to questions like, this deck is such a struggle. Just not getting anything out of it. Never have what we would, what we need. Oh, this is, this is this turn. Well, at least this cannot draw us the big problem. I think it's worth doing this. Yeah, because it gets us the kill effectively. But that fight, hmm. We just can't get these poison cards. That's what's killing me is that like we cannot for the life of us get um, get uh, the poison apex. Like if we could have a catalyst or if we could have a uh, the other one that it, uh, poison spray or whatever it's called. Uh, like we could actually get somewhere. Uh, should bug, bug me if I don't know the actual name. A not poison splash, not poison. Uh, putrid infection. If we get a putrid infection. We could get somewhere. Kind of want to upgrade that. I guess I upgrade that. Uh, yeah, like... I still like... None of these cards are standing out to me as like, this is the problem. Just the, like, we don't have the solution either. I don't know, maybe I was too hasty in... Um, eating that one thing. That's going to give us tons of uh, ever. Hang on. I should check what is on top of the deck. Sure. it's worth doing that. That does save us a decent amount of health. On the uh, burn. Should probably have a wave of corruption. Also in the drop -off. also in the deck rather.
It's worth noting, we can play this, but we can't play... We wouldn't want to play that anyway, because we, we can only play it the once, so... If we had played the copy action in the deck, we would have been stuck not being able to... Anyway. The important thing is, that's dead. That's dead. Or that's not dead, it is. Taking a beating. No, oh, that's a little unfortunate. But... the win. And we can actually just win right now by doing that. Alright. So that's the bad one. Noxious Focus is pretty good. I think it's better than a second Pernicious Totem. Do we just need to take this Cleansing Shield is the question. We don't have any other cleansing. We're going into Shadow Bone. I think we need the Cleansing Shield. That's pretty good. That's probably better than that. It's probably better than that. Absolutely taking Shadow Breath here. Which is the advantage of saving the reroll, I guess. downside here is I won't be able to I'm debating transforming this but then I won't be able to actually play it which I think means that I'm just going to save that for now we don't have the insidious power stone yet do we? no play that right now. This is going to get us to 10, which is not quite enough. Hmm. Just going to do whatever. Keep all coffers out, but I can now play this, and it's effectively free, but if we can't play the raw coverage, it's just not worth it. Hmm. So we're going to go cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. You're going to get... I think that just maximize our value there. We're going to get so much uh, pernicious totem value. And that powerful is valuable because it lets us maximize our pernicious totem value. If there is anything busted going on here, it is like pernicious totem. A 
this is technically down on health, but. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, with Naomi, it's like I always want to be able to. I always want to check that before I draw cards, but I always forget. And I get punished, and I uh, complain about it. No way to get enough shield here, is there? Closest I can do is like that. I guess that doesn't get me enough shield. It just feels bad to be this close to the edge. That cleanse is nice, though. Let's just put curse on. We are now actually taking damage, but it could be worse. Or just that continues to be like the card that matters. Definitely want those in my draw pile. stuff out this turn, but kind of tempted to go Shadow Breath even if we get offered other things, finally. Like they had their chance. Shadow Breath just... No, we didn't even get offered poison cards, so Shadow Breath it is. Yeah, that's better. And then that upgrade... I don't know, it's not terrible. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. Second cleanse. I don't remember what our boss is in the next area. This is where Zero would say, like, cut a mana card, but... I don't think we're doing so well on that. We can afford to cut man cards. Like, I know I cut the Deadly Injections, but let's be honest here. If, if two Deadly Injections was all that was making this a poison deck, then this was not a poison deck. Um, and, like, if one day is watching this, I'm sure that he's saying, like, it's my fault because my deck wasn't a poison deck. I did not, like, build effectively a poison deck. And that's not wrong. However, I would contend that we weren't really offered the pieces we needed for this to be an effective poison deck. So we are now fighting Bay. We are in this awkward position where Bay Later is a concern that is going to be coming up, and we do not have anything that resembles an answer to Bay Later. And so I think we need to get hidden. If we can't get hidden, we need to get sad. Um.
Seems okay. Um, absolutely, we want some stuff. Yeah, more stuff seems okay. And then sure, we'll get another explosion out here. Steal away, though, I steal. the best turn, but we at least got some poison out, which means that we're actually making progress towards ending this fight. Huh. This is awkward. So what we really need is the ability to draw cards. And so we've got two plays here. No, I think we only have one. Yeah, okay. That did way more than I was expecting. So, so, cannot complain with that result. Because I was going to say, like, other options like to, to dry and bank on the whatever percent from on card tripping. Hey, there's a dead of night. So we can now get into hidden. Our backup plan can be freeze. And we don't give up that much to do that. We basically give this event to do that. Well, we give that event and we give up a turn to gunk. I would like to have the turn to gunk. The poison salvo is okay. The sludge salvo is okay. Okay, I guess that's the poison card. But I think we... I think a Thriving Blizzard could be like the thing that saves the run though. That Bane's not terrible. Also, I keep forgetting to spyglass um, coffers. All right. Um. Did I decide to start doing this? I think so. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to spike last of that. It's actually a decent sunbolt. Week. There's not really a ton of value in playing that. I think that's. I guess doing this gets us that value out just a little bit. Which I think is worth it. Especially because it doesn't really cost us anything because of the uh, leech. Um. That works. 
so. Hi. That's not pain. Arm shield, though, it doesn't go well with the, uh, the freeze cards that we're looking at picking up with the problem. I didn't want to re rolls when we're coming here to try and pick up. I think we'll take either of the cards that aren't the uh, Frostbite card. I just think that's kind of where we're at right now. Here's to freeze ourselves, by the way, if that wasn't clear. Aha, perfect. Duplicating that's also pretty okay still. So. for doing that. Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to freeze ourselves here. We are one card short. <clears throat> Which means that we got frozen by the Frostbite. Let's start this turn frozen. Alright. That can go. That can go, I think. Boom. Playing to win. This would be online if we had a um, pocket shield. There we go. This should, I think, kill. All right. That's not the one we want. Thriving Blizzard is the one we wanted most, so happy to see that. I think the extra shield gain is better than the extra spell burn. Well, Mm, this makes Solar Flare a lot better. How many spells are we even playing? If it works with Pernicious Totem, it's obviously incredible. I don't know if it does. Guess we'll find out. Also, I guess it helps with the purity that Bailator has. We do get to freeze things, which is nice. Kind of unfortunate turn here. Although, like, well, that answers that. We do not get the extra value that we were hoping to see. We don't get the burn. 
Which, I mean, it would be very busted if we did. But that doesn't mean I can't be sad. We do get to benefit from uh, shock without using it up, which is slightly unfair in our favor. Well, the fortress uh, does not work in our favor. That actually makes sense. Although obviously, like as you can see here, uh, if we could get evasion that didn't rely on us to roll lucky, that would be better. Uh later. Uh, not fail later. Um opportunities is up. And that will trip opportunists because this continues to be a jerk of a card. If we could get out the freeze, which I think we can. Although I don't think we can get out the freeze uh, before we play whatever, because that's going to be. Unfortunately, the sequencing there does not work out in our favor. But I do like doing this. Interesting that it... Um, we can lose the shield. Oh, because we're losing shield, but we're not taking damage from that. That makes sense. We can't lose the health from anywhere. Haha, no damage taken. Because we were invincible. Pull me out of hidden, but damage. Mm. Fortunately, I believe I am kind of priced into doing this. So this does take you off the board eventually and in the turn just one less problem to deal with oh come on screw you even poisoned anymore um so here's the plan oh we aren't tough right now we can fix that at least <sighs> all right eat damage Wow, we're gonna start the turn with two of fatigue. Great! We are not gonna get that off this turn. I think the best we can do is to just hide. Yeah, starting getting the double fatigue, you know, like, if you just can. Yeah, see, like. Just the worst luck. Just the worst luck. Mm. 
Hmm. No, there's no good way to sequence this, is there? Where we actually get that value? That's fine. Probably should have just done that differently, but... Getting frozen, which is nice. All right, goal this turn is to also that was sub luck to get all that powerful right here because like it lost all the powerful in the transition Cruelty, that is still enough for us to freeze us. Cleanse is annoying. That doesn't do anything for us this turn. That I think is less helpful than we would like. Oh, well, in that case. I'm going to do that. Oh, we finally baited a big hit. We have lethal. Yep. Um, could just take the sanctuary, which is also very good. Or we can reroll and try and get um, racing cold. Okay, so we now have a plan for Bay later. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it is the plan we got. Always with the fatigue. Another awkward turn to have that fatigue going. Uh -huh. leave us exploding once, but we have no buffs, so. Oof. I'm actually going to have to do that.
Main question, like, am I doing that this turn? I think the answer is no. Hmm, but now I can't do. I'm not sure if I that. Not hidden, but oh, I can just go and do that, I guess. Because If I do this, it does kill them. But I feel like we can do better. Kills this one at least. Uh, but that prevents the action, which might be worth it. that sudden like 75% spike in effectiveness over here. But we are absolutely going to get this freeze off. I think I might want to play that. But I think I'm only going to be able to play one. So we're gonna, actually, we can do that and that. Man, here doesn't quite work out, huh? Uh -huh. able to get the other stone. That cleanse. Still root. Honestly, a pretty surprising amount of poison. Uh -huh. Do this, just how it kills you. Oh no, it doesn't, because the uh, playing that, even though it doesn't actually directly do anything, just to. Get the value out of this. Alright, 
almost have the kill. Oh man, we just got the max health. Which apparently we hadn't gotten yet. But now we do. And sun bolted. So yeah, like we... When we do get a lot of poison, we, we do sometimes get a lot of poison, but it doesn't feel still like poison is why we're winning. Because uh, it was... Uh, I'm one thing. Uh, I don't hate another defensive mutation. I think we take... Or defensive, whatever, but... No. Mm, mm. I think we're just going to try and get uh, whatever from that. And I think we're going to upgrade that to get the extra hidden. I think we're going to skip that so we can get a reroll. So we can force out... God, we don't have a great way to get to get to the hidden stuff, do we, huh? Hmm. Oh. Isn't this cute? I don't know how we're getting through this. Honestly, I may cut horrifying mutation. No, I think we keep it. We just move on. Oh, you know what? I needed to upgrade. Um, we're going to get a bunch. Of, we're hopefully going to get at least one more. I need to upgrade Thriving Blizzard because it's just not anywhere near as good of a card until it's upgraded. I'm trying to think, what did I even spend my upgrade on in my tunnel vision brain dead? Oh, the I guess the dead might make sense. So at least it wasn't. I didn't make the dumbest possible decision. Um, can do that. Haven't even been watching the time. Didn't realize how long this video had been going. You're not weak, and I have no way to make you weak, and that is unfortunate. Because we're just going to have to eat a beating here. Maybe we'll get really lucky in ways, will they? Nope. We're pitching that when we freeze. Still just all in on that. Uh, doubling up on that is also pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna get some uh, nice healing going. From the leak. And that doesn't cost us health because we are currently cheating. 
Oh, which I mean we are invincible. Uh, Royal Coffers is top card of the deck. Can we play it? Yes. So, it's Royal Coffers time. Should have checked how far down. Okay, Pernicious Totem is here. Which means that we are going to be able to get Pernicious Totem value. Which is obviously good. Um. Also, we get to get value out of that, which is nice. I don't think I want to just do that. And then we just went. Get got. Alright. Hmm. Oblivion Scythe isn't terrible here. But no upgrade. It's a 30% chance on Elise to get the upgrade. No. I think I'm just going to copy this. Which means that now we are incredibly tough. And also, Arcane Link. We are incredibly Arcane Link. Yes, that's what I said. We should get a variety of values. No. Should check what uh, okay. Thriving Blizzard is near the top of the dropout. I should have gotten those out first. Although, I guess I want to get the shock out. Uh, I don't think this is a thriving. Don't think we need a thriving blizzard this turn. So. Pretty good job of keeping things under control. It does turn off uh, this kind of because we don't have. Although top card of the deck would give us purity, but we don't have a way to get to the top card of the deck. Yes, we do. Although it's a little awkward. Now we can't play it. I'm very clever. Well, we're gonna do this just for the. Um, Whatever value, the totem value. <sighs> Just barely avoid exploding him. And then another case of three hit of uh, hidden and then get hit three times. Because evasion doesn't do anything. Honestly, I don't know that we need that in this fight. Especially because of whatever. Corrupting may have just ended the fight. Corrupting does just end the fight. I mean, the board does turn into a shield, but it's not a great shield. Dark focus is pretty good. All right, so we got that, which we can use on the Thriving Blizzard. So the Thriving Blizzard is now a card. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's that's worse than we have. 
we do get a clear focus here or a prismatic shield and i honestly i'm not totally certain which one i want i don't think it's any of those What spell would we draw? Wait, do we have that few spells left? These are really just those two. Huh. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess kind of my plan was that I would be able to loop that, and then we just like didn't end up finding. Uh, I guess three because we have the toxic cloud. We just haven't ended up finding spell draw. Not a big fan of the various things that are going on here, but at least get weak out here. And then take some damage. Hey, 5% of a chance coming in clutch. And that was also pretty good. I mean, obviously I would like less spam heals, but So if we draw a spell, are they all over here again? Yes. It's worth it because it could be, yeah, that. Explode once, but if I double up the Shadow Breath, I may be able to win off the uh, Corrupt Card. Although getting this Blade out obviously is not great for us. There's no way for us to get Shield out here. Oh, I guess that is Shield.
Right, we are going to end up eating some uh, bleed damage here, but my hope is that we get close to getting these kills at least. Please? Thank you. Because once they go to zero, they lose all their powerful. Which means that one of them at least, or two at the front two at least, yeah, drop a ton of their damage. Although this... Oof, are we still dead? Jesus. I did not expect that much damage. And that is why... That is why... We need... Evasion. going to explode here, but it's not going to hurt us. Aha. We have heard how many repeats now that restores this this run? I feel like we restarted earlier fights this run, and I've just kind of forgotten what they were exactly. Should check. Some powerful up. I completely messed up as far as um, sequencing here goes. Just so much powerful coming out here. That does get us the freeze on everyone. All right, let me just get mad for playing that, of course. This turn. We will have at least one clutch this turn. Okay. And then this is going to freeze out everything, which works for us. Just the sheer amount of damage that we get here coming through. Um, the tough and weak which in a lot of ways is it is a like 
indicator of how important um, that one thing is that I'm forgetting about. It's so important that I can't remember what I'm talking about. Uh, fortress. Okay. So this time I've prepared for when we draw Oh, whatchamacallit. And we didn't draw it this time. But if we had, I would have been prepared. Alright. So we're some of the powerful at least. Good. It's turbo bleed turn. Wait, not good. The other thing. Bad. Uh, we do get frozen. I think freezing out everything is important, so. And then, is doing this this turn worth it? I think so. Yeah, it kills out. It's actually gonna kill out the middle one. It's just gonna take it a moment. Yeah, because that's the actual bleed frog. So now we only have one murder machine to deal with. Which of them do I kill? This is a trick question, the answer is both. Uh, looks like the answer is very close to being both, but not quite. But maybe. Ah, no, we are one away from it be the answer being both. But that's fine. We'll dial it next time at least. I think we have mitigated the damage enough that we're not... Uh, hopefully, we are not taking any actual health loss. Oh, we lost it tough there. I just didn't realize. But we can get tough back. Wow, that is a lot through tough. White Flame is a heck of a thing. I'm scared about Bay later. Do we need this Arcane Deluge? I think Arcane Deluge is bad. I think Clear Focus is good. I think all of that is useless. I think we're going to have to save the reroll for the next one. I think we cut the Astral Focus because I think it's just not doing enough. And we just hope that we get uh 
the like very low chance of getting a card from this that we care about, which is so it looks like a one in six chance there, uh, which is uh, not great odds. Doing that. Took me out to realize what was going on there. Okay. So I didn't actually say it out loud. What was going on there was we got um, we have arcane rune from that. What is the spell that we draw? Doesn't matter. I think we're playing this regardless. It's effectively free. And then getting weak out is absolutely worth it. I don't think we want to do this yet. I'm betting we die to Bale later. I don't think we have the spare health to manage that, but we're going to give the other call a try. I don't think is good enough to save us. All right, because of our restarts, we're offered this again. Maybe. We may need those dispels. I don't know that we have enough raw damage, but... Because that applies to what? The Legendary Strike, and I guess it applies to like Sunbolts and Starfalls and whatever. I'd really like to get um, starting tough here. No dice on that. I don't see anything I'm really wanting to cut here. So I'm just cutting like the persecute. I think the persecute is fine. I think we got the mind seed, which is a little sketch, but yeah, I, I, I do not feel great about this. We need to get weak out here. Which we do at least manage. But. God, this is so awkward because, like, I think I have to do that because I don't think we can afford to eat this much damage this early. But uh, I really would have liked to have gotten that growth out. On this whole, like, Damned if I do, damned if I don't, things. Oh, look, I'm damned. Okay. I don't think that's going to do anything for us, but... Just kidding, it actually does. Because that goes to three mana. We can't play it still, though. So 
I think we do that. And we hope that we evade at least one. Hey, we evaded two. It's a bad turn to do that. <sighs> if I do this, I lose hidden is the problem, but... Losing hidden was probably a mistake. Got a plan. our one get out of jail free card to get out of jail free this time unfortunately I don't have a ton of extra tricks sitting around we can't play that this turn which is really unfortunate uh, yeah I know even if we draw four cards we can't get there We can freeze this turn, for whatever that's worth. This is a really unfortunate turn to get that freeze on, though, because we'd really like to have it next turn. Stopping Mighty from getting set up is still probably valuable. Just takes the vulnerable off. And then. Huh. Oh, we aren't tough. I think that's frail coming out. It doesn't do a ton for us. I think it's worth doing this at this point just because it. Takes away some buffs, and then we just hope that this doesn't kill us. It does? Yeah, like I said, I am... Mm. I think it came down to, like, there's that one turn where it's like we needed to get Thriving Blizzard on a turn where it was going to have text, and we didn't. It was that, or I needed a bit better luck. Or I need to be able to play the, um... The Royal Coffers. This is a good turn for this. We did get that freeze out, which wasted the... That's awkward. And we're vulnerable. We are hidden, so that's that. That's something. So we can starfall without losing hidden, I think. I think we don't do that yet. Yeah, because it just uses up the poison. And then I think that upgrade is actually good. 
and we want to just go straight into Moonstance next turn, I think. And we hope we evade some of these. Alright, we did. Okay, so next card in the draw pile. We can get to, but it takes effort. I think we're going to save that for next turn. He is actually worth doing that. But I think we leave it at that. Should Garrett... Do we? No, I think we do this. I think it is worth it. I was considering letting it sit so that we could guarantee we could get enough mana for that other thing. But we're going to have enough. Unfortunately, we didn't get the fatigue on the whatever turn, which obviously helps. Um, so I think grab that. We're actually going to do this. I've got a pretty good feeling about this at this point. Although, it's not really what I wanted to see out of uh, my draws. So that's got to be, that's got to be good enough. Could have been a lot worse. So we can't do both. So we can get the extra curse, we can get the extra leech. I think we go with the extra curse. I can get the extra whatever up, but I don't think that's worth it. I think we pass turn. Don't love that. Okay. It's like this is a much better turn to get Thriving Blizzard than we had the last time around. what I was hoping to see. So if we get mana, if we get draw, we can get going. Hmm. Thinking in terms of um, 
if we starfall now. If we starfall now, we'd be starfalling for damage. I think it makes more sense to just starfall for that. A lot of poison out from those. But yeah, the fight is still not in control uh, because it's a bay later fight where we don't have whatchamacallit. So we kind of just need to cleanse a bunch here. I don't have to, but actually the other option is so we need to do need to play that. How much is that extra curse worth? Enough? Yeah. And then Doom proc. All right, that's very good, because that means we're not going to be vulnerable on this turn. God. Screw you. Just look at this. Look at this bullshit. There's just no point in playing cards here. Just have to hope that the hidden helps us. All right, it did. Jesus Christ. What do you want from me, game? hope that we can get there. Oh, I should have uh, corrupted again because we could have. Well, we might just be dead. This is moment of truth time. Well, it's not good. Yeah, I don't think there's any way that we get enough value here is the problem. Because we can't cleanse. Like I can do that. And then we just die? I think. I think that leaves us just dead. If nothing we can get out of here that would help us. So we get really lucky on evades? No. No, I'm just gonna accept it. Screw it. Yeah, we just didn't have fortress and we didn't have evasion. I don't know, like, I just don't like the deck. Obviously, again, like, I, I don't pretend to be a perfect pilot, but... There was just nothing here. And we didn't get the epic poison card, sure, but, like, if a deck is this... Like, we had Pernicious Judgment, like, there was just such nothing. And it's like... What cards was I not taking that would have changed to that? I don't... I don't think there's anything really here. Like, I, I know one day said that it felt super busted, but uh, no, this deck was bad. And like, obviously my build specifically was bad, but I don't know how to make this build good. Yeah, I, I, I screw it. Anyway, that's it for this time. Doodles.